looking at the wrong spot. So, okay. Um, I'm Juanita. I'm from Woolly Bean. I'm the maker behind Woolly Bean. I, um, for my own pleasure, I knit. For you guys, I sew. And um, you may, I don't know. I'm not that big. So you probably haven't heard of my knit, my project bags. But um, they tend to be more, a little bit modern print. This is the, this print's not the biggest seller, but the style of the larger ones. And they always have my logo in them. And so maybe start to see them around um but yeah so I make project bags kind of just on the side I'm a stay-at-home mom so my Instagram account is woolly bean and on Ravelry I don't know I've been on there forever but I don't know if I have it as woolly bean or as JJ Doucette, which is our my like initials kind of. Um Doucette's my last name. Just so you know. Juanita Doucette. But I will put it on here somewhere. In the bottom here. And then that way you'll know. You can look me up on Ravelry. Um I try to do to be very good about putting my projects, my knitting projects all in there. So a friend has really helped me. My my uh, knitting mom, my adopted knitting mom, she has helped me really learn the importance of Ravelry. I'm looking everywhere, I apologize. <laughs> what I wanna do, I've been knitting for about six years, I think so. 2011, that's seven years. 2011 or 2012, I don't remember. It was right around, I remember my sister being pregnant. I learned when I was really little or in like daycare somewhere when I was younger. I remember some little Puerto Rican lady teaching us how to cast on. Um, my mom knits and I remember having a hard time. I was trying to at first, I'm a lefty and so I tried at first to learn to do everything left-handed. Like I was a purist with that. I was gonna play guitar left-handed and it just was harder than it should have been or is. Like I didn't need to make it that hard. So um I relearned when I was, anyways, 2011, 2012. My sister was pregnant, and I just remember knitting my, sorry, there's something on the table that I don't want to get on my yarn. Um, I relearned then, anyways. I remember knitting my first hat, and I did all the, the, the typical beginner stuff, bulky yarns, Basic patterns like seed stitch. My first project was a hat, like I mentioned. I still wear that hat, though. It, that hat turned out good. <laughs> but um, I branched into a lot of baby items because I had later on, like, well, pretty much then, consecutively, three kids. I have a boy, five. Um, Felix, Penny is three and a half. And, excuse me, Elsie is uh, two. So... I've knit a lot of baby stuff. Then I got all ambitious and opened an Etsy store and thought I was going to sell baby items, which then I realized I wanted to knit for myself and not for other people. <laughs> so um, occasionally I'll do a custom knit. I don't mind doing that, but I prefer to knit for my family. So that's why I kinda, kind of got started into um, sewing because I wanted to project bag. And they're expensive. Like, I mean, I charge what I charge, but I try to make the price fair. And then realizing the work that does go into it, it takes some skill. I'm not saying I have any skill, but just not everyone can make one. And I fortunately could. And so then got into it. Yeah. Works in progress. Um, one that you've seen, if you follow me on Instagram, which again is Wooly Bean with a dot in between Wooly and Bean. Um, I've been working on this. This is from Pam Allen's book. Ooh. <laughs> Plain and simple. So beautiful. If you don't have this, borrow it from somebody that does. Or buy it because it's gorgeous. This is the chestnut cardigan. And I haven't made any progress. So if you see, my, if you follow me on Instagram, which I assume most people that will ha see this. I'm always looking at the wrong spot. Oh my gosh. But if you see this, you'll know that if you see this podcast, you'll have seen this cardigan. Or if you see my Instagram there. Anyways, so 
I haven't gotten any farther. Um, I've been kind of put it aside and have been on doing some sock knitting. And then suddenly I got the shawl bug. I've never knit a shawl. I started a Reina and learned brioche. Love it. But then just got disinterested. It was too much for that moment. That That's around the time that I started having some health issues. So um, I cast this on, I don't know, a few months ago and... I'll be ready to pick it up soon again. So I'll share that. And then I cast on this last night because I'm, this is my, I got this yarn. Um, I noticed a couple of people have been doing some yarn stashes, So I had decided to do one. Um, so if you are interested in that, I'll put the um, account here on, Inst like on the bottom here and on Instagram. Um, you can check that out, but I don't have a I don't have an amazing stash. It's just things that I had bought for my store to make, and I don't need now. So, but I bought some Quince and Co. Chickadee in pearl or petal, petal from um, Annie Rowden. I just, I'm thinking her Instagram name is like Annie Claire, but she's a designer, and I'm sure anyone that's a knitter knows it who she is because her stuff is beautiful but I bought this from her and um it was it's like over 700 yards so it's several skeins put together um so I found that I kind of discovered that when I unrounded I didn't really realize it at first because I didn't even think about how much yardage I was like oh okay well, that's an awesome price but it is so I started and for some reason suddenly I am drawing a blank on what I'm knitting the honey plum shawl by uh, Melody Hoffman from Mandarins and it's not even one that I had on my favorites I have like I want to knit her hollows one I want to knit the hoarfrost one from um, Andrea Mowry that one's super gorgeous a friend of mine is knitting it and so um, and then the homestead shawl by Melody I want to knit that one but this yarn is sport so Instead of like figuring stuff out, I just took the lazy way and hunted for a pattern that um, called for sport. And this was the correct yardage. So I am just barely cast, like I just started last night. So I'm only on the little garter edge. But so the first, my Raina shawl, I actually, I had gotten pretty far into the brioche, but I um, frogged it last night. So. I've gotten farther technically on a shawl than this, but this this will be my first in this shawl when I when I do finish it. And I think oh no no I have a sock. I was gonna say I think that's it, but then I have one other work in progress. Um, I've shared these before because I've only knit like three socks, and I say sock singular. So there's my one. It's just a vanilla sock pattern um, with a fish. Fish lips kiss heel, fish kiss lips heel, however that's worded, and a one by one rib. Um, I this is for my older sister. Um, it's self striping yarn, and just nitpicks Felici, and I am on the second one and working on the heel now. So it's not nothing fancy, but. I'm excited that I'll actually have a pair done because I've done my two other socks are a little bit more to me like fancy and then I've only knit one each and it's not because I'm not excited about the pattern I just was like I want to do this now I want to do that but um I think that's it for my works in progress because yeah my sock my shawl and my sweater so that's it for those after my works in progress I have um, a little bit ooh, of shop update news. I was going to share. I thought this was kind of funny. My, this isn't my very first. My very first project bag is actually one I still use. It's kind of ugly, so don't judge me. But I put, you know, a bright interior, which I don't mind that. And then this is like some denim -y fabric. Um, it's just an old, like, I think this was for my grandmother. Very, like, cheap. It's a metal zipper, but, you know, not pretty. Always looking in the wrong spot. I can't help it. I shouldn't have worn bright lipstick. It's drawing my eye. I will stare at the camera. Um, 
but it's tall and it's not like I really only use this I mean my shawls in here but I typically don't use this for like a sock project bag and then I only have one pin I'm not an enamel pin person I'm I don't wear a lot of jewelry I bought like my first hoops recently <laughs> I wear a simple ring um I don't know I I'll do the bright lips but I don't wear a lot of stuff so what was the point of that why am I saying that? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I was talking about, about my project bag. And the, uh, oh, pins. So I didn't notice a lot of people, they get carried away. Not carried away. If they love it, that's great. But they'll have a lot of enamel pins. I just feel like it's something else to spend my money on. And I want to spend my money on yarn. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to get into enamel pins myself. There are some that are so pretty. And I think almost like if I had one, I would want... Maybe I could pin them on these overalls. Like, I could see that. <laughs> but not on my project bag. So, um, that was my first one. And then, my later I got into the a little bit better design. I started to do something a little more boxy. This is a print that um, some have purchased. I But I was using the more, like, simple, cheaper zippers. And um, the interior is just muslin. I still use this bag. This is mine. Like, I saved all the... And my old logo was just like a little version of written. Like I drew my logo by hand and then edited it, scanned it, did that and stuff. But it just had like one singular pocket inside or like one big pocket and two little ones. And But it doesn't hold up. Like you put stuff in it and it falls over unless it's full. So I wanted something more sturdy. It is nice that it's soft. Like you can roll it up and wrap it up and it's tiny. I just washed it because I had... We went out of town last weekend um, for our convention. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, proudly. And um, I use this as a makeup bag. And it worked fine. I would have rather have used one of these because it had a million more pockets and would have been better. But I didn't have one. Ironically. The bag maker without bags. So this one um, I just washed. But anyways, I thought it was funny to see like, the, the, the growth in my sewing from here, which was only like six months ago to now this one I use a heavier canvas my stitches are so much straighter and um, the inside for anyone that's not ever seen I'm messy that I keep where I keep my stuff but it's got pockets that line the whole edge all the way around different sizes and some of them have snaps so you can put larger stuff in it or snap it closed and then use it for some smaller items and it Sits, sits up on its own empty or I remember look at the camera Juanita empty or full um, and so I just am much happier with this sign and I use of course like a, a better zipper and for those when you buy the bag you get a little leather zip pull I always forget to put it on my personal bag but so that's the design um, June 14th is the no it's July now July 14th is the Saturday 10 a.m. my time, so I'm in central time zone, so whatever time that is for you. Um, but I will, I might have some stuff listed before, but I'm going to try to wait and, and like open up the shop, but I'll have everything ready the night before because I'm actually picking up my sister at the airport that day, so um, I'm going to multitask, but I'm going to make some bags ahead, that way I can just ship them out the next day because I love doing the pre-orders because then I can make custom stuff for you guys. But it does get a little crazy. Um, like I can't predict then what you're exactly going to buy. And this way, I don't know. I haven't done a shop update this way, so we'll try it. But um, I shared this on my, one of my, I think it was on a story on Instagram, but some of the new prints um, that I'm making. This is one of them. Um, and then I've got this awesome maker. One. This will be the last. There will only be one of these. I cannot find this color anywhere. If you know where to find this color in the Maker Maker print, I do not remember the designer. I know who she is, but I can't remember the name. But I've seen it in a cream or a taupe or something, but not in this like gorgeous grello. So, and I didn't buy enough of it when I got it. I kicking myself, but um, so I will only have one of these for sale in the shop. And then this is a new print, this adorable snake plant. Again, I can't remember the designer, but 
if I can remember to edit it in, I'll put it below. I feel like the designers for fabric um, deserve so much credit for the work that they put into this gorgeous stuff. So this is a popular one. Of course, this one, you have if you've seen one of my bags, you've seen this one. This one's been shared quite a bit. I love this one. Black and white. This one's a new one. I'm going to pair it with like a rusty brown zipper. And I'm totally keeping one of these for myself. So it's got like a charcoal gray with white on it. And then I think I a couple of those. And then this little polka dotty one. So I think that's it. Like I'm not going to make this very long. I just wanted to say, pop on here and say hi. Practice editing and share a few of those things. I'm not really sure what this will evolve into. I don't know if it will last. That's dependent on you guys. <laughs> if people actually tune in and are interested in seeing what's going on here. Um, but I'm a mom to three kids. I'm very busy, but I always make time for knitting and sewing. And I want to get into more of um, sewing my own clothes. I sew a lot of things for my girls, but I want to sew some stuff for me. So I'm probably going to share that on here too. And yeah, it'll be an adventure. So I hope you guys tune in. Don't forget to follow me on Wooly Bean on Instagram. And then you can check me out on Ravelry, which... By now, hopefully, I figured out whatever my username is. <laughs> and um, come back on here, and we'll see you soon.